What's up, guys? So, we are going to read um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle book, comic book issue 29. This one is basically about where Leonardo is actually still being um, controlled by the Shredder, and the Shredder is, like, basically still in his mind, and it's in his head, and he's, like, going crazy, and he's confused, and he has amnesia. He doesn't remember who his brothers are. He doesn't even remember having brothers, but he only remembers his mother, so we are about to get into this and we're going to start reading it. I've been in some nasty brawls in my time, but that thing, damn. I know just when you think things can't get any crazier. And I hated having to cut out like that and I, I feel like a coward. But what else could we do? I mean, really, if we'd stayed, they would have hunted us down. And you know that we're lucky we got away at all. Yeah, you're right. It could have just been way worse. At least no one got killed. No, but some of us came way too close. All that violence, it was too much and too scary. New York is not a safe place for any of us right now, and if we ever was, as much as we all hate the idea, we've got to put away behind us for a while. Thanks for driving, Casey. My hands were shaking too much to hold the stealing wheel. It is hurting his side. Your dad? Yeah. Well, I just need some serious shot to to get my body fixed, my head together. Nah, it's cool, April. With Donnie's stitch-up job, it's feeling better than what I was in the hospital. Anyways, it keeps me from thinking about, well, you know. Yeah, I think we all need that right now. Lots of rest. Lots of healing. Ugh. Why are we slowing down? Are we there yet? Yep, Mikey. We're here. Oh, man. It feels so good to go stretch. I can only imagine how father's feeling. His leg is pretty bad in shape. Him and Leo are still cowering out, and I say we let them sleep a little more. We cannot low without them. Whoa, April! Is this where your parents live? No, Mikey. The inner may house done the drive. This is where you'll be staying. Well, at least it ain't underground. Yeah, I wish I could give you guys something a little bit more comfy, but I'm already pushing things on my parents by bringing Casey. Throwing four turtles men and a giant rat man and, well, no offense, but I don't sweat it, April. This works great. Thanks. Well, we've never had plenty of camping gear and lots of space for you guys to spread out. And electricity and even a small bathroom with running water. No shower, though. Sorry. But the lake's super clean, and I used to wash my hair in there all the time when I was a kid. Didn't you tell me that? Didn't you tell me that your parents lived in Alabany? They do. My dad inherited this old place after my grandpa O'Neill passed away. He and my mom were always going to retire there. I mean, here. But after his stroke, my mom figured that the fresh country air might help resuscitate faster. And with everything we went through in New York, I thought that it might do us all some good, too. Bathroom's free if anyone's gotta go. Well, so much for fresh air. Ugh. Anyway, we better wake up Spencer and Leo. My parents were expecting us half an hour ago, and I don't want them to make them worry. Hey, and listen, the house is far enough away, and that I hope that they won't notice you here. But you've gotta stay hidden, okay? Okay, you got it, April. We'll stay completely inconspicuous. Yeah. Sneaky and silent what we do. And I just hope that being here helps Leo get better. I mean, he's so messed up. Like, one second he remembers us, and then the next, it's like, we're his worst enemies or something. His behavior is consistent with what I've read about brainwashing. Uh, about brainwashing. 
Shredder seriously got in his head somehow. So we're going to have to keep an eye on him and watch for relapses and stuff like that. I'm sorry to wake you, Sensei. April's got to go and see her parents now. You need not to apologize, my sons. I am fine. We, mocus, we must focus our concerns on Leonardo. His has been an extremely traumatic journey. Yo, Leo, it's time to wake up, buddy. Who? Whoa, whoa. Chill, bro. It's just me, Raph. Remember? Raph? Where? How? Let me out. Sure. No problem. What the is that? Ah, oh, hell no. You stinking mutt! Wait, I... Trying to ambush us, huh? No, you're wrong. I, I don't want to fight. Oof. Yeah, right. Now tell me who was, who was with you before I... Oof. Back off. She said that she doesn't want to fight. Ah, oh, why is Leo yelling at Rav? And where the heck did Alapex come from? So much for sneaking in silence. Leo, what the hell are you doing? She was just about to sneak attack a few seconds ago. No, she wasn't. Didn't you hear her? Can't you see that she's hurt bad? Yeah, well, a lot of us are hurting right now. But the only one of us is a Foot Clan scum. Unless, unless what? Oh, I don't know, bro. You tell me. You're the one still protecting Shredder's little flea bag. This has nothing to do with Shredder. You sure? Ah, uh. ah great. Come on, Mikey. And keep your eyes peeled for more foot. Ah, oh, man. King. Look at you, Leo. First you stick up for them foot mutt now, and you trying to waste me. Why is that? Huh? Knock it off, Raph. Yeah, guys, this is stupid. Don't touch me. I'm just trying to help, dude. Damn it, Johnny. Get off of me. And quit being an idiot, Raph. Enough! That is enough, my sons. But Master, the foot might do as I say and stand down. Alopet is obviously alone and outnumbered. Miss O'Neill. Gracely invites us to the place in order to provide us with much needed sanctuary. I will not have your offending our host and dishonoring yourself by conjuring the conflict we are attempting to leave behind. Fine. And that is for you, Halopex. I do am curious how it is that you have come to be here with us and why. However, I will not. I will allow the opportunity to explain, blame yourself as you did to intervene during my battle with Oroki Saki. But Sensei, she, silence, Raphael. Look, you hate me. You don't trust me. I get it. I know what's happened between us. But whether you believe me or not, I'm not foot anymore. You know exactly what happened. I attacked Shredder. But I wasn't able to kill him and I knew I had to escape. I just didn't know where to go. The Foot Clan was all I had. But I didn't need Karai's arrow in my arm to remind me that I was as good as dead to the foot. So I followed you. She did. I heard you all talking and I heard you say that you were leaving the city. So I made a choice. If the foot wanted to kill me, they'd have to catch me first. And I don't care if you think that I'm lying. I really don't want to fight. Not anymore. Wait, 
What I don't understand is why did you attack Shredder in the first place? What was in it for you? He murdered my family. Oh, and you expect us to believe that little crap? I've heard the whole poor little victim fox sob story from you before. She's telling the truth. I, I know she is. Is that why you're so hot protected of her then? What aren't you telling us, Leo? Stop. I will not tolerate this childish behavior. You know both sees now. Save your commands, Yoshi. You are not my master. Very well. Atopix, whether or not you speak truly about Shredder, you did save my life and I am honor bound to respect that fact in the spirit of Bashido. I accept your call for the truth. We will not harbless you any further. But father, my decision is final. Doesn't matter. I don't need your honor or your help. Okay, not too awkward. Yeah. It's time to go. Um, as much as I'd like to stick around, we really need to get to my parents' house, guys. My mom's probably ready to send out the National Guard right about now. Ugh, really sorry about all the drama, April. It's fine, Donnie. We all knew this wasn't going to be easy. Just don't burn down the, the barn or anything, okay? Dude. You gotta cut Leo some slack. Guys, guys been through hell. No. I know, man. And I feel really bad for losing my cool with him like that. I know he ain't himself right now. But I still don't trust a stinking flea bad no matter what pity party she's trying to throw. Yeah, well, take it easy, bro. Things work out. Now watch me look, I gotta meet the girlfriend's parents. Girlfriend? When that happened? Ah, uh, when I was in the hospital. We're not saying much about it yet, and it's all new and stuff, and well, we don't want to go too fast. Yeah, and nothing say slow like meeting the parents. Ah, oh, man. Don't remind me. Well, there it is. You ready? I don't know, April. I feel like I should just have my hobby, my hockey mask on or something. Oh, come on, you big baby. My parents don't bite much. What? There you are. I was getting so worried sick about you, kiddo. What took you so long? Sorry about that, Mom. We went into a bit of a distraction on the way here. Threw off our schedule a bit. Distraction, huh? Well, whatever it was, I'm just glad you're okay. Mom, uh, i like you to meet Casey Jones. Casey, this is my mom, Elizabeth O'Neill. Uh, uh, nice to meet you, Miss O'Neill. Oh, just call me Beth. Everyone does. And it's nice to find meet you too, Casey. April told me a lot about you. She said that you were a star hockey player at her school. Her dad's a huge sports nut, so you get you two, two should get along great. How is dad? Oh, he's okay, trying so hard to get better, and we have a little victories nearly every day now. He's in the living room right now, watching baseball, of course. John, April's here with her friend from college, Casey Jones, the hockey player we talked about. Well, I'm happy everyone's safe. Sorry, can't shake hand, Casey. Well, th that's okay, sir. Not sir, John. You'll find we're pretty even formal around here. Ah, right, Daddy. Hey, baby. I can't. I can't tell you how believe we were when you called to say that you were on your way, sweetie. Stockton. Talk about perfect timing. We just heard about Stockman on the news. Wait, you you don't know? Know what? It's gone. Completely gone. You cannot escape this the truth. 
like a monster seeking prey in the night in the truth, will hunt you down. Fool, you will die for that. Say so, no, I'm gonna have to ask you to change your tone, man. You sound just like that chum shredder right now. True strength comes from the will to strike quickly and without mercy. In truth, the responsibility for all the sadness belongs to another. Who, mother? Tell me, please. My child, when you find out what you have lost, you'll also find the answer to that question. Mother, where are you? I need you now. Please, I'm so confused. So tired. Casey seems nice. Yes, it does seem nice, doesn't he? Poor thing. It's like a deer caught in headlights, though. You get some sleep now. Good night, love. Okay, I've got your room ready to go, April. And here's some fresh blankets and a pillow for Casey on the hot bed. Thanks, Miss O'Neill. Uh, I mean, Beth. Wow. I still can't believe it. Stockman totally destroyed. It's just, it's just too crazy. Yeah, when you consider all the years your dad worked there, it bungles the mind to think it's all gone now. Thank God you weren't there. Your dad would have never forgiven himself for helping you get that internship. He was so relieved you weren't hurt. But if it wasn't an accident, Mom, the whole time I was working at Stockman, there was some pretty shattered things going on there. A lot of uh, illegal, I think, and I was actually hoping to talk to Dad about it. Share your experience with animals and some crazy ooze stuff that... Ooze? Did you just say ooze? Yeah. Why? Ma, w what's wrong? Mm, maybe it's nothing. You two wait here for a bit. I'll explain everything, but I'm going to brew up some tea first. The night's getting pretty cold out here. So we'll need something to keep warm while we talk. I've got something to share with you. Like I said, it might be important or it might not. Either way, it's time to know the truth. Time that you learn about some important details from dad and dad in my past. Some things that may have been way more dangerous than we ever realized to be continued. That was short.